Okay, so I've primed my lids with primer potion, but I've also put some pop and lock right here in the middle because I really want Drop Dead Fred to stand out. And I'm going to start with the Make Believe first, and then we'll put the Drop Dead, dead, drop dead Fred in, <laughs> say that ten times fast, uh, in the middle after we get the Make Believe on. I'm going to use an angle brush. I'm just going to fill this in a little bit. With Make Believe. Which is a gorgeous color I might add. One of my favorites. bring it over just along the crease in the top should look something like this So I want some in the corner. Bring that up. You're going to want to stop right where you put your pop and lock. Make sure you get it all the way around. You know what you're thinking? Oh my gosh, she has raccoon eyes. It's crazy. It won't look like this when we're done. Now slap some uh, drop dead Fred in the middle. So pretty I could die. 
pack it on there good because we're going to blend it out a bit into the make-believe. Let's go around it. Just gonna take a little bit more and get it down into that make believe. A little bit more. And that part's done. Now you're gonna take seedless. And the reason I chose this is because Drop Dead Fred is orange, but it has some green in it. Seedless being pink with some green in it. So I thought that would darn good together and it does. I'm gonna put that all on the top here. I'm gonna load it on pretty good. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm gonna blend the crap out of it. Why do I use this brush to blend the C brush? I don't know. I I do things really strange with my brushes, I guess. I just really like the way it blends and I don't typically use a blending brush. It doesn't work right for me. So I do what works for me. You do what works for you. I'm gonna blend this along so that's not such a harsh line. Very nice. I don't know why sometimes I get like this weird bald spot. <laughs> so I gotta go back in and fill that in. Just a little bit. Just because I want it a little darker right here. And then I'm going to use cobwebs as a highlight. I'm going to use um, seedless underneath. Make sure you have some in the corner here. Sorry about all the screaming. Husband's watching a movie. It's typical. I do my tutorials, he watches movies way it goes around here. All right, you're gonna do some eyeliner and mascara. And then this awesome look that doesn't really take very long is done. And there you have it, a really pretty kind of fall Somerset look, I guess. Um, thanks for watching, I hope you really like this look and I hope you try it out and I'll see you later.